PNZ for our meeting to order, please. Our first item is going to be roll call. Danny Wiley. Charlie Ramirez. Jonathan Laraga. Present. Romeo Robles. Present. Rafael Munguia. Present. Luis Madrigal. Andy Castro. Uh, Guadalupe Cano. Present. We have a quorum. make a motion to uh, excuse the absentees. I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to excuse the absentee board I'll members. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Same sign. Motion passes. Next item is public testimony. Yes, Anybody Mr. Chair up? Hammond, we ha do have one individual sign up to speak, Lupe Chavez. Uh, hello. Uh, these 90 seconds, I would like the re record to reflect that I was harassed as a, a You can person. say your name and where you live. Oh, yeah, my name is Luke Chavez. I reside in FAR 321. Thank uh, you. Again, like I said, I'd like the record to reflect that as a person who signed up for <coughs> public comments, uh, that a police officer harassed me from the top floor to the top up here, and that individual nearly killed me here. Uh, legal is aware of this as well. Uh, I am here to uh, talk about three and five. Uh, I think that all these items should be tabled and that uh, this board should, uh, that the planning and zoning uh, committee should uh, end the meeting uh, to avoid any legal issues uh, concerning uh, election fraud by our elected officials. Mr. Who Chavez, you. you need to stick to the agenda items. Are you aware of the you requirements of public testimony? Table, you have to table them because you cannot legally. Uh, uh, vote on these Sir, because you have you're to illegally speak about appointed. The That's item. what I'm saying. That's you're the action. You're not speaking about the actual yes, item. Yes, I'm act talking about the telecom, Eric of Texas, whoever their representatives are here. You know, they don't want to have that delayed because of legal action. Neither does the, uh, you know, this number three where you guys want to change the general district. You don't want to delay that because of legal issues or temporary and restraining orders. Uh, and, uh, you know, Meldon and Hunt are here also. Well, you know, I'm just letting the public know that you know that you're you're gonna end up breaking the law, and Miss Rigney is aware. She's been she, she's been covering this up. But thank you very much. Thank you for your slanderous and libelous statements, Mr. Chavez. You can sue me. Go ahead. I can. Go ahead. Thank you, okay. Mr. Chavez. Next item is the approval of minutes. You can entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve. Uh, I'll second, Mr. Chairman. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Next item is public hearing. Good afternoon. My name is Laura Fonseca, City Planner 1 for City of Far. And I am presenting our Brownstone Consultants, LLC, on behalf of Rhea Nanette Mora, owner, has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for change of zone from Agricultural and or Open S Space District, AO, to Residential Multifamily District, MF, RMF, in order to develop and construct uh, apartments. The subject site is located on the east side of North Jackson Road, approximately 952 feet south of West Sioux Road, and has a physical address of 2400 North Jackson. The property is legally described as being 10.854 acres, more or less, out of the south, half of south, half of lot six, block five, AJ McCall subdivision, far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property fronts North Jackson Road, a 120-foot to 150-foot principal arterial that runs north and south with a posted speed limit of 40 to 55 miles per hour or less as identified in the City of Farce thoroughfare plan. The property is currently zoned Agriculture Open Space District, AO. A portion of the property of the north was rezoned from Agricultural and or open space district AO to general business district C 
on March 2, 1999. Another portion of the north was rezoned from General Business District, C, to Limited Industrial District, L-I, on April 19, 2011. 2011. A last portion of the north was rezoned from Limited Industrial District, LI, to High Density Multifamily Residential District, R4, on January 11, 2016. The property to the south is zoned Agriculture and or Open Space District, AO. The city limits lie to the west. There have been no other zoning requests within the vicinity of the subject property since that time. The property is generally designated for commercial, single-family residential, and multifamily residential use in the land use plan. The residential multifamily district, RMF, is established to provide adequate space and site diversification to low to medium density residential development where adequate streets and other community facilities are available to present to present and future needs. This district is established for duplex, fourplex, and development as low to medium density use, and additional requirements for streets, water, and fire protection, wastewater, drainage, and adequate open space shall be met before zoning to such use. It is established to protect the residential areas as far as possible against heavy traffic and zone, promote the most desirable use and of land and direction of building development not in conflict with the city's comprehensive plan. 26 letters were mailed out to the surrounding properties within the 200-foot radius owners on August 5th, 2022, and a legal notice was published in the Advanced News Journal on August 3rd, 2022. Staff received one response <coughs> for information to the letters or legal notice. And for the record, he is present. Okay, we'll De open, go ahead. Development Services is recommending approval of the request for rezone from Agriculture and Open Space District, AO, to Residential Multidistrict, RMF, as the property meets area requirements and has adequate ingress and egress. If approved, the owner must comply with all city ordinance and city requirements. And we do have representation for that as well. Perfect. Would they want to come up and speak? We'll open the public hearing. Okay. To be presented with City Commission. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, on the last note. Uh, this item will go before the City Commission meeting on uh, September 6, 2022, at 4 p.m. <laughs> sorry about that. Thank you. No, no worries. Does that person want to come up and speak? Um, go ahead. If you can state your name and your address, please. My name is Jose de Goyado, and uh, I have a residence immediately to the south of the area where it's going to be construction. And I just wanted, came here to gather just information as to what, what was going to be built. That's all I needed. I don't have any, any other comments. comments. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank that. you. Thanks. Anybody else sign up? No one else, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good afternoon. Carlos Alangel with Brownstone Consultants. Hi, uh, we're representing the owner on this project, and I just kind of wanted to give a little more light to the question that he was asking. Uh, so we're going to do a uh, private fourplex subdivision, all single story. Uh, so there'll be no two-story units. It'll be one method of ingress and egress. Uh, okay. to Jackson Road, so I don't think any of the neighborhood on, on the back side will be affected. Uh, it'll be a single cul-de-sac, and I believe it's uh, 34 lots total uh, that's still uh, being determined due to the drainage requirements that, that we're going to have to meet for the 50-year flood plan. Um, but I don't know if there's any questions by, by the board. I don't think so. Thanks, Carlos. Okay. Appreciate no that. Problem. Thank you. We'll go ahead and close the uh, public hearing and open it up for discu board discussion. Anybody have any questions, comments? Okay, we'll clo close the board discussion and open it up for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion for approval. I'll second, Mr. Chairman. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes.
starting. Um, the next item is um, Maria Leticia Suniga, owner, has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a conditional use permit to allow a home occupation for a barber shop in a single family residential district, R1. The property is legally described as being Lot 12, Block 2, <coughs> Countryside Terrace Subdivision, FAR, Hidalgo County, Texas. The property's physical address is 713 West Douglas Drive. The property is currently zoned single family residential district R1. The surrounding area is zoned single family residential district R1 to the north, east, and west, and residential multifamily high density district RHDMF to the south. This area is generally designated for single family residential district R1 in the land use plan. Uh, <coughs> uh, fire department recommends approval of the conditional use permit, code compliance division, a pending reinspection for conditional <coughs> use permit, planning division recommends uh, approval of conditional use permit. Uh, the hours of operation uh, will be Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. 39 letters were mailed out to the surrounding property owners within 200-foot radius on August 5, 2022, and a legal notice was, was published in the Advanced News Journal on August 3, 2022. Staff received one response to the letters of the legal notice. <coughs> Development Services is recommending approval of the home occupation for a barber shop in a single family residential district R1 subject to compliance with other ordinance city ordinance and city de department requirements as listed and uh, we do have representation for that as well we'll go ahead and open the uh, public hearing if there is anyone that wants to speak on this item want to come up yes sir we do have there are one individual signed up to speak Alejandro Navarro. He signed up, but he did not sign. He signed up, but he is not present. He's not present. Okay, thank you. We'll close the uh, public hearing and uh, open it up for board discussion. I have a question for code compliance. Uh, it says it's pending reinspection for a conditional use permit. Has a reinspection been done? Uh, not yet on that. Oh. Uh, usually they go once. Uh, if it if it's approved, then they go and do the oh, inspection okay. for that. Mr. Chairman, if there's no other questions, I move to approve. Mm -hmm. Do we have a second? second? <laughs> we need to close this. Second. We second. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Anaisa Licerio, Planner 2 for the City of Far. Tonight I'll have three items additional for your recommendation. Item number one, the City of Far for betterment of the city has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a change of zone from General Business District C to Single Family Residential District R1 in order to develop and construct a single family residence. The subject site is located on the south side of West Hall Acres Road and has a physical address of 1207 West Hall Acres Road. The property is legally described as being 0 0.30 acres out of lot 233 Kelly Far Subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property fronts West Hall Acres Road, an 80-foot major collector <coughs> with a posted speed limit of 30 miles per hour or less, as identified in the City of Far's thoroughfare plan. The property is currently zoned General Business District C. The properties to the east, south, and west were zoned to residential single-family district R1, and the subject property and property to the north 
were zoned to General Business District C on February 21st, 1995. There have been no other zoning requests within the general vicinity since that time. The property is generally designated for single family use in the land use plan. The single family district is, is intended to be composed of single family dwellings together with public, denominational and private schools, churches and public parks essential to create basic neighborhood units. Areas that are not zoned for this, use for this use shall have water, wastewater, drainage, and access to paved streets based on single family usage. It is intended for areas that are properly buffered from non-residential uses and protected from pollution and or environmental hazards or from high volume of non-single family traffic. 18 letters were mailed out to the surrounding property owners with a 200 foot radius on August 5th, 2022. An illegal notice was published in the Advanced News Journal on August 3rd, 2022. Staff received no response to the letters or the legal notice. Development Services is recommending approval of the request to rezone to single family residential district R1 as the property meets area requirements and has adequate ingress and egress. If approved, the owner must comply with all city ordinances and city department requirements. Note, this item will go before the city commission meeting of September 6, 2022 at 4 p.m. And we Can are the representation. No, um, no, sir. So we'll open it up to public hearing. If no one signed up, we'll go ahead and, and close it. And we'll open it up to uh, board discussion. Chairman, I'd like to uh, address the staff. Um, what kind of, what drive are they gonna be using to access this property? So there is that, pr uh, that private access um, that goes all the way towards the back where you see that last um, home there. Um, it is maintained by the city. It's a private access and they just go in. Okay, so who owns that track? Is it a utilities month, a, a right of way? No, each of those owners, um, that, that front, that access, they, they granted, own that portion. They granted use for, for that street access? Yes, they all, um, they get in contact with their public um, works department um, now and then just to keep it up to code. Okay. Um, a little history on this we're trying to um, it is currently general business district they were mm -hmm. trying to bring in a commercial property um, for to sell for commercial however so we could assist of course there's residential areas surrounding there we do not want them um, to build just even though back in the days they wanted to make a bigger commercial development that did not go through so the piece of property just stayed commercial so now um, to assist so they could make this residential we're doing the we're proposing the change to zone to single so family be a street or curb gutter any any other improvement? at the time they do want to build um the residents they are going to have to come into compliance with their engineering department and fire department utilities works to make sure they have all that for that residence that lot okay and i'm the only reason i'm bringing this up because of their there's been other instances that I've brought, given that I'm a realtor, I've brought customers into the McAllen market, I mean, into the farm market. Uh -huh. And every time that they've wanted to do something, they've had to pave um, all the requirements that were needed for them to make the improvements so they could have full use of their lot. They were always asked to, uh, provide a street, provide access. And yes, I know this may be grandfathered in, but you know, uh, just wanna make sure it's uh, something that we would um, be okay in approving because I mean, I haven't driven that. I mean, I think I drove that once and had a hard time turning around just because I had somebody that was interested in a property that was in the back and I had to go around uh, through the other street. But yes, we would, I mean, um, thank, thank at the time of um, development to develop the property, we would make sure they were up to compliance. Um, okay. mm -hmm. All right, I, I had a follow up question to that. So there isn't, there's no paved entry or egress there to that home right now currently? It is not paved, it's uh, maintained. maintained. It's a private access that's maintained. We could go and, and give you more or less, um, talk to our engineering department about getting you what the material it is, 
Um, I just know it is something that prior to some of the subdivisions that are more to the rear, um, it has been approved by our engineering and fire department to, access, to use that access, right. that private access road. And that's an existing home that's abutting um, all acres? That right one that looks like it has a pool, the Vasquez one, mm -hmm. yes, that's an existing home. It's in a general business district right now? Yes. Okay, thank you. Any further questions? No. I'll close the uh, board discussion and open it up for a motion. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passed. Next item. Next item, Lisandro Espinosa, owner, has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a change of zone from Office and Professional District OP to Single Family Residential District R1 in order to develop and construct a single family residence. The subject site is located on the east side of North Sugar Road, approximately 85 feet south of West Bell Avenue, <coughs> and has a physical address of 220 North Sugar Road. The property is legally described as being 0.48 acres out of lot 175, Kelly Far Subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property fronts North Sugar Road, an 80-foot major collector with a posted speed limit of 30 miles per hour or less, as identified in the City of Far's therefore plan. The property is currently zoned Office and Professional District OP. The subject property and the surrounding properties were zoned to Single Family Residential District R1 on March 30th, 1982, when the city originally adopted the current zoning ordinance we use today. Later, the subject property rezoned from Single Family Residential District R1 to Office and Professional District OP on November 4th, 2013. There have been no other zoning requests within the general vicinity of the subject property since that time. The property is generally designated for public, semi-public use in the land use plan. The single family district is intended to be composed of single family dwellings together with public, denominational and private schools, churches and public parks essential to create basic neighborhood units. Areas that are zoned for this use shall have water, wastewater, drainage and access to paved streets based on single family usage. It is intended for areas that are properly buffered from non-residential uses and protected from pollution and or environmental hazards or from high volume of non-single family traffic. 24 letters were mailed out to the surrounding property owners with a 200 foot radius on August 5th, 2022. An illegal notice was published in the advanced news journal on August 3rd, 2022. Staff received no response to the letters or the legal notice. Development services is recommending approval of the request to rezone to single family residential district R1 as the property meets area requirement and has adequate ingress and egress. If approved, the owner must comply with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item will go before the city commission meeting of September 6, 2022 at 4 p.m. Um, we do not have representation. No one signed up for a public hearing? No. No Can one in the affected no. area has signed up, Mr. Chairman. No one in the affected area. That's right. Correct. Thank you. We'll close the uh, public hearing and um, open it up for board discussion. Anybody have any questions? If there are any questions, then I'll go ahead and open up for a motion. Um, Mr. Chairman, I move to approve. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Next item, Erica of Texas Inc. has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a life of the use conditional use permit to allow a new 60-foot telecommunications tower in a limited industrial district LI. The property is legally described as being 0.00048 acres out of Lot 2, Far Bridge Business Park, Phase 3, Subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is physically located at 900 West Zaragoza Drive. The property is currently zoned Limited Industrial District LI. The surrounding area is zoned Limited Industrial District LI to all directions. This area is generally designated for industrial use in the land use plan. <coughs> Fire code and planning recommend approval of the conditional use permit. Four letters were mailed out to the surrounding property owners within a 200 foot radius on August 5th, 2022. And a legal notice was published in the advanced news journal on August 3rd, 2022. Staff received no response to the letters or the legal notice. Development services is recommending approval of the request for life of the use conditional use permit to allow a new telecommunications tower in a limited industrial district LI. If approved, this item must comply with the following conditions set before you. 
This item will go before the City Commission meeting of September 6, 2022 at 4 p.m. And we do have representation. Would they like to come up and speak? Omar Coronado, McAllen, Texas. Uh, this project is from Erica, Texas. We are a manufacturing plant in Reynosa <coughs> for medical product, uh, dialysis and hemodialysis. You might see some of clinics uh, of the company for seniors medical care. Um, this tower for communication, um, it will permit us to have a communication, private communication between our manufacturing sites in Reynosa and and our new warehouse that we lease. We already are in Military Highway. Uh, we want to move to this new lease uh, building. Mm -hmm. And this tower is, is for um, private communication between our facilities uh, because we are regulated by FDA, uh, TV, or uh, other regulation, OSHA, etc. Mm -hmm. So we manage uh, important uh, information between uh, us. So. That's the main reason of this tower. Okay. It's not, it's n we're not carrier, we're not going to share. Uh, this is totally private between the company facilities. That that's one to clarify. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? Uh, how tall is the tower? Uh, I believe it's 60, huh? feet, 60 feet. 60 feet? Yep. Okay. And you have proper clearance around it in case? The what, excuse me? in case the tower falls for whatever reason. Oh, it's a self-supported self tower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have no more questions. Thanks, Jonathan. Any other questions? Uh, Thanks, no. sir. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thanks. Anybody else sign up to speak? No one in the affected in area the affected has signed area. up, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. We'll close the um, public hearing and we'll open it up for board discussion. Anybody have any questions? We're good. We'll close the board discussion and open it up for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a, a motion to approve SUB 22, I'm oh sorry, uh, CUP 220843. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Good evening, commissioners. For the record, my name is Heliberto Martinez, Planner 2 for City of Far. Tonight, we only have one item for your recommendation. Let me get to that page real quick. Okay, item number one, applicant Melden and Hunt Inc. representing Derek Merchant, manager for Via, Via Real Estate LLC, a Wyoming li uh, limited liability company <clears throat> is requesting final plat approval at the proposed phase one, lot one, go car wash far subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 1.470 acres, meaning a part of a portion out of lot seven, block 12, AJ McCall subdivision, far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is located within the 7500 block of South Jackson Road. The property is currently zoned General Business District C and General and Agriculture Open Space District AO. The adjacent zones are General Business District C to the north, Agriculture Open Space District AO to the east, General Business District C to the south, and City Limits to the west. The property is a designated for a commercial and single family residential use in the land use plan. Property proposed use, a car wash, variances, non requested. Development services recommends final plot approval of the proposed phase one, lot one, go car wash, uh, far subdivision, subject to the following conditions set before you. Also, this item will go before the city commission uh, meeting of September the 6th, 2022, at 4 p.m and we don't have representation of the audience. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, this item doesn't, re doesn't uh, require public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open it up for board discussion. Anybody have any questions? I have a question. Uh, it'll be proper uh, 
experience and, and, and uh, entrance to the, to the area? Is there going to be a bus route or is it just right off of the track? There's going to be, uh, by b when you say buffer, what do you mean by or buffer? Not, maybe not a buffer, just maybe like a little ent entry zone. In other words, not, it's going to be right off of Jackson going in, or is there going to be a little space? There's going to be queuing for the vehicle, so they need to come in, and there's going to be a point where they're going to stop and actually go into the actual tunnel for the car wash. Yes, sir, there will be a proper queuing. Yeah, this is uh, other places. We, we see a lot of traffic there in Jackson, so I, I know they're similar. And they're off to the road. I agree. Yes, sir. I have no further questions. Anybody else? Any questions? If we don't have any questions, then we'll close the, close the board discussion and open it up for a motion. Uh, motion to approve. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate Thank you, it. Commissioners. Uh, next item is announcements and other business. Don't hide over there, Roland. Um, None. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, chairman, uh, I was I was talking to Andy Castro. He will not be attending for the next few months since he does uh, refereeing for football games. Okay. So and he asked what the process would be for our board to give him some time off. He, he, he needs to send a letter. Uh, Andy Castro will not be available on Mondays uh, since he uh, does, he's a referee for uh, football games for uh, high school, junior high, that sort of thing. And so does he need to put a, a letter out to the staff or board or? We'll review that um, after the meeting, if that's okay. Sure. Um, I'll go ahead and look at the at the appointment and the requirements. Okay. Um, and we'll see. go ahead and discuss it with staff and advise him what the best uh, course to take is. Okay, very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thanks, Carlos. If uh, there aren't any other announcements or business, then um, we'll move Mr. on. Chairman, to I move to adjourn. Adjourn. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. We survived it.